Now we are going to change direction a little bit and talk about the internal linkage between electrochemistry and what hopefully you learned in thermodynamics, material thermodynamics. And the concept would be Gibbs free energy change that we are going to review a little bit first. So what is Gibbs free energy change? Well, you may recall from your thermodynamics class under so-called constant temperature and constant pressure condition, which is the case for many of our typical reaction process. We do uh, normally of our process under ambient pressure, one atmosphere, and quite often you do those process or reaction at a constant temperature under so-called isothermal condition. So under these condition, the main chemical parameter to determine whether a system is at equilibrium, whether a system is at equilibrium, or if a process, sometimes a chemical reaction, a process or reaction will proceed spontaneously. Spontaneously means naturally. So is the Gibbs free energy change. So this is the parameter that determines whether a system is at equilibrium or a process or chemical reaction will proceed naturally, spontaneously or not. That's what uh, the physical meaning or significance of Gibbs free energy change is. And remember, typically, when we look at a Gibbs free energy change of delta G, we examine things or system at constant temperature, constant pressure. Okay? So delta G, by definition, is quite often defined as the Gibbs free energy for the final state minus the Gibbs free energy for the initial state. That's what you learned in thermodynamics. G for Gibbs free energy, final state minus initial state. That's the Gibbs free energy change for a process or a reaction. Okay? And hopefully you remember from your thermodynamics class that Gibbs free energy by definition is H minus T times S. G, as we said, means Gibbs free energy. H is enthalpy. Enthalpy. It uh, is this word essentially means heat in the process. And the T, of course, is temperature. As you, in thermodynamics, quite often means entropy, a measure of randomness or order in the system. So this is the definition, thermodynamic definition for Gibbs free energy from your thermodynamics class. And to determine a process or a reaction will proceed spontaneous or not, is we are looking at the delta G for that process or for that reaction, final state minus initial state. Okay? So we'll not go too deep into uh, thermodynamics, but hopefully this is what you can remember from it. So what's the significance of looking at a Gibbs free energy change out delta G? We said, hopefully you still remember, if the delta G for a process or a re reaction is negative, it's smaller than zero, okay? Which means the final state compared with initial state is at a lower energy state, lower G, then the process or reaction, we call it spontaneous. It will happen naturally. It could happen naturally in the direction written. It could, from energetic point of view, it's a energetically, we often say, favorable process. It's spontaneous. It's an energetically favorable process, such as temperature, heat, conduction from high temperature reservoir to low temperature reservoir. A object flow from high potential to low potential. That's called a spontaneous process. So if the delta G, 
the Gibbs free energy change for a process is negative, the process or reaction we call it spontaneous. It happens naturally. On the other hand, if delta G is zero for a process or a reaction, we would call the system, the system is at an equilibrium. The system that you are looking at is at an equilibrium. Or another way to say it, the process, the forward reaction rate would equal to the reverse reaction rate. You go one direction versus the other direction, the reaction rate or, or um, process rate is the same. So that's when the system is at uh, equilibrium. That happens when delta G for that process or reaction equals zero. Then a third scenario is for delta G is greater than zero. Gibbs free energy change is greater than zero, which means the final state is at a energy state higher than the initial state. Okay, that will make the delta G greater than zero. This means the process reaction is not spontaneous or not natural. Okay, if it's greater than zero, the final state is at a higher energy state compared with initial state, then it's not pro spontaneous. The process you need to supply energy, extra energy for the process to happen. Or put it another way, the process may proceed spontaneously in the reverse direction. The reverse process may proceed spontaneously. Okay, so that's the three scenarios when we look at data G for a process or for a reaction. If it's spontaneous, it needs the data G to be smaller than zero means the final state would be at an energy state lower than the initial state. A few additional notes here. One is the data G for a process only depends on the difference in Gibbs free energy in G value of the final state versus the initial state. Okay, a process that a G value only depends on the final state and the initial state Gibbs free energy, and it's independent of the exact path for the transformation process or related mechanism, which means from initial state to final state. There may be different paths or route, but the data G will be the same as long as you have the same initial state same final state okay it does now depend on the path that's what we um, learned in thermodynamics delta g only depends on the value for the final state versus the initial state it it is independent now depend on it has no relationship to the path or route for the transformation okay another note delta g does not represent the rate or the speed, sometimes we also say, for a process or a reaction, okay? Whether it's fast or slow, data G does not tell us directly. It tells us whether a process is spontaneous, is natural, is energetically favorable or not, or energetically forbidden, but it does not tell us whether it's fast or slow, even if it's energetically favorable, okay? There's a separate cause that deals with kinetics that that uh, treat the rate or speed for a process or reaction okay and we will not talk about it uh, here 